Okay, let us try with these examples. Single bond. So just simple carbon to carbon single bonds. Carbon to carbon single bonds would look like this. So carbon has four and another carbon. And these four, a uh, three more for per carbon would look for other elements to bond with. Usually that's hydrogen. Okay, this simple carbon hydrogen compounds and all those carbon carbon hydrogen compounds are called hydrocarbons. Most organic compounds are hydrocarbons. Okay, and when we write hydrocarbons, they can have uh, long chains or short. They can have longer than C dash C, so they can have more like another carbon. Okay. This time, look at this part here. What if I replace this hydrogen with a carbon? So it looks like this. So when it's a carbon now, it needs to connect with three more branches. So, in ana na siya. Sumpay, sumpay. If gusto ni mo H, mana. Wala na may connection ang H. And then, you can have it as another carbon or another element. So you can have oxygen, double bond. Usually, it it doesn't double bond kung tolo na. Okay. And this is how you do the branching of carbon. So, sumpay sumpay ra. H. You can have it here. The technique is that there must be always four lines around carbon. Single bonds are called mga maximum na nga bonds sa carbon. In the middle, usually, ang middle ng carbon, middle carbons, have two. Notice, duhara. But, the end carbons, they have three. H, H, H. And here too. So, nana siya mga patterns. Okay. When it's a long branch of carbons, we mentally name them into carbon 1, carbon 2, car carbon 3. So this one, we can start with this side. So any side will do, but depend on the demo. So carbon 1, carbon 1, carbon 2. This is carbon 3, carbon 4. Because later on, we will be naming this one. So for example, magkadaghan pa dyan ang carbon ni mo, maghimo po na po siya branch. So, branching ng tawag ani. Carbon. Carbon. Carbon here. And a carbon here. Everywhere a carbon. <laughs> Sige. So, carbon. Ang um, this second carbon, another carbon would connect. So, pwede na dyan kayo. That happens in nature. That is why daghan dyan kayong organic compounds. Kaya bisag asa lang ang mukunik ang carbon. So, if na na po yung carbon dere, sumpayan na po nito siya mga H. So, nag branch na siya. Does it need an H here? Yes, kay. Tulo, duha pa man. So, tulo, ikaw, pat. Upat jud ka line around carbon. Ito rin niya tarungo na itong drawing. So, next time, patas o na to if para dili na compress. Okay. And then, at the ends, also H. Okay. Nag branch, branch na siya. Una nga, inignamed na to niya. Okay, ani man siya. You can have this kind of carbon. Okay, let's write first the condensed formula. Bi nakalimut na taso. This one are structural formula, the structures of the molecules. But when we have, um, let's move this first. Okay, so when we have this one, it's na it's Structural formula, pila man eh? C. Ang unang C, na siya 1, 2, 3 ka H. Condensed formula na niya. Condensed 
formula. Oopsie. And the upper one, this one is the structural formula. Okay, let's continue our condensed formula. Refer lang mo sa structural formula. So, CH3, sa sunod kay do, C, yan na asya H. Una ko ni mo, right, ang mga C niya. Sunod lang, H. Sige, na asya doha ka. H. Next na po, same, doha, H, 2. Then, ang C, na asya H, 3. Okay. Next. This one, write the structural, this is the structural formula. We can have C, H, 3. Yang ibabaw sa nga line unahon. C, H. Na siya usaka H. Unya, C. Duha ka H. So if it's just one, do not write one ha. Imaginary na siyang one. Murag sa mga exponent. So C, H, inig 2, diha na, makuyog. Okay, and then, the last part, CH3. And then, naman siya extra branch dali. So, you just write here a uh, dash and then continue with C, 1, 2, 3, H, 3. So, this is still a condensed formula. How about the empirical formula? So, Ito, ato is shortcut ni siya. C. How many C? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 carbons. And this one, i-add ni mo ta ng H. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If I miss, I'm not mistaken, 12 siya. 12. Okay. So, let's go back to this one. You can draw something like this. Nga lahit na po ang branching. Pwede o gani. Pwede gani siya na branch. Gani siya nga branch. Pwede ni ni mo siya ibalhin somewhere else. Diri ba ka na part? Mm. Again. Gani siya. Pwede na siya ibranch ni mo diri. Ikaw na dyan magbot. Unless you specify. Pwede po diri sa ibaba na pita. Balihon ni mo ha, balihan. Okay. And because carbon makes all these kinds of lahi-lahi ng mga formula, sometimes, na ay time nga magdungan. Example, same sila like empirical formula. So, lahi sila like forma. This one. C. Oh, let's have a pen. C. 5. H. 12. Yeah. Diri sa iba ba, malahi na siya. For example. C. 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 Look at that. Pila ka book C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. How about your H? Let's move this first. <laughs> I'm learning how to use it now. Okay, so draw kadira. Oh, mga H. So H, 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 H again. Tiny H. So if you count. Per end carbon has 3. Ka H, di ba? So, okay, count na itong balik. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 ka C. Unya, ang H ni mo kay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12. So, ang empirical formula nila, parehas, di ba? But when you look at the structure, lahi da itong forma. Hmm. So, it's possible for that to happen in nature. Kung magsulat pag yun ka sa condensed formula, ano niya? Ano siya? CH3. 
again c h okay the first c we have three carbons and the middle c and then this one the third c c h three and then i line so but the branch ganit siya branch ganit na simang sa linear nga form nga format imo na siyang butangan og line na c h c h three C H three. Make sure ang imong line kay dito siya na connect sa C ha. Kay mo mo na ilang connection. Ang C ka, ang H kay mo rasyak extra extra so ato lang isulat. Di na nato drawing ogina ni. Masyag shortcut ba? So this is the condensed formula. So these kinds of varieties make isomers. Isomers. Isomers, there are different types of isomers. And this one, na ang isomers gane, same sila o formula, pero lahi na ito ang structure. So, mailad ka. So, na daghang varieties yun mo ng isomer. Okay, there are also different types of isomers you will learn as you study later on. But, ano lang ang concept nga, na mga isomers nga pariha sila kunuhay, diri na part, or at some point, deriba na part, pero lahi na ito in structure. Okay, let's continue. Let's go to how to draw double bonds. So, review lang sa kanina. Let's go back to our red pen. So, C. Double bond. Pwede ka mo ditsog C. You can have. Let's just have two. So, C. Hmm. That's a double bond for carbon to carbon. Triple bond. Muna sa ding example. One, two, three. And then, because tulo naman siya, usa na lang yung capacity. And then, after that, fill in na dayon sa mga, oh, di na siya pwede. So, tulo naman po ni siya, ang nagunita niya, usa na lang ang pwede. How about this one? Can we add more H? One, two, three, four. No more na. Kani siya pwede pa. Then just write the H. Question. Pwede ba miss nga diri akong triple bond? Yes, pwede ka ayo. Mabali lang ni siya nga doi nga. Okay, let's now go to these examples. Three carbons. Single bonds. So, similar na ni sa kong gibuhat diri kanina. Ang answer day diri kay kanin. So, let's write it again. So, you can pause the video. Or, naka-answer naman tani. So, just write it again. Three carbons. Not mentioned. Nya, single bonds. Single bonds na yun. Oh, now it's different. Okay, again. So, first. Three carbons. Single bonds. So, draw kag tulo kasi. Nya, single bonds na daw ko. So, Single bond ang carbon to carbon. Yeah. Fill in ni mong H. Usually, duhagin na sa tunga niya. Tulo sa tunga yung ka-H. Oops. What did I write that? Okay. Next. Three carbons, one double bond. Two. Three. Pili lang ka. Pwede diri ka mag-double bond? Pwede sa diri ka mag-double bond. So, ganahan ko diri lang. Yeah, single bond ang usa. Kay one naman ang ipangayo. So, duha naman. So, pwede na ka mag-add og H. So, your H could be added diri sa ubos and ay, diri sa up and diri sa side. Or you can have it diri sa side, diri sa down. Or, you can have it diri sa down, diri sa this is up, this is down. So, ikaw na dyan pahala. I will just be counting kung wala ba ka nalapas sa carbon. Oops. 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, pwede dyan ha. And then, dere ito lo. Dere sa din ato siya. Oopsie. Write H. 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 And H. Okay. Pwede na dyan ka ni kay naapo diri. Mabali lang ni siya nga drawing nga. Number six. Okay. 
Okay. Four carbons, one triple bond. How does it look like? So, nangayo siya og upat ka carbon. One, two, three, four. Then one. So, triple bond man. So, tulo ka line. So, just choose which one imong butangan. Pwede you can have it on the first and the second carbon or between the second or the third or here. Anywhere but sa triple bond. So, just write, I would like to have my answer here. Then, tulo naman. So, usa na lang. Nga, usa na lang dire. Nga, upat. Do I tulo? Nga, tulo. H, 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 H. Again, ha? We did a bisagasang triple bond basta magsakto yung mong drawing. Let me show you what I mean. C, 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 C. I would like to have it in the middle. Double, triple bond. So, usa na lang dere. Usa na lang dere. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So, H, H, H. H, H, H. Okay. You can also have it in the middle or in the last part. Basta sakto lang dyan ang uban na parts. Okay, number seven. The name is methyl amine, which is having one carbon, one nitrogen, and some H atoms. Remember, ang carbon makamake siya of four. Ang nitrogen makamake siya of three. Ang H ni mo? One bond. So, how do we do, do that? So, one carbon, right? One C. One nitrogen. Okay, and try to connect with these two. The single bond lang ta. Can have. Yes. And nitrogen cannot make double bonds. Only single bonds. Okay. Ang oxygen di ay kay makamake siya single, makamake siya double, pero ang nitrogen, tag single, single, or siya. So, punan na lang na to siya mga H. You can write that here or here. You can write that pwede sa diri. Or, or you can, it's better to write it like this. Like that. So, H, H. But if, if up or down or side in you, okay, Rajat. Okay, let's now go to the last example. Who last na Jude? Acetone. Three carbons. One oxygen na na double bond daw siya sa carbon 2. Take note. Nya mga hydrogen atom. So oxygen is special food, okay? Maka make sure single bond or maka make shark double bond maka make shark three kasi kanya na double bond daw siya sa number two again ha number nabera na to siya so second carbon na ay oxygen and then ang sobra butangan na dayon na to mga H okay is it easy? Without it needs practice. Punan pa ba? 1, 2, 3, 4. No more? Okay. Easy peasy. After a lot of practice, easy peasy lang. Basta, kalma lang dyan na itong ihapon sa C o patra dyan na kalinya. Sa O, pwede duha, pwede usa. Okay. And that is the structure for this compound. Acetone. Yes, so hopefully you will practice more and we will learn more. And thank you so much for going to the end of this um, lecture. And we will still work with this together.